for this unique format for the first two of these sprint races, they use a rolling start. And you can see Cooper, the inside line heading into turn one. That's huge. Ryan Winchester to his outside and watch Todd Lamb in the second of the Compass 360 machines gets a great start here alongside his teammate as they now head down towards turn two. And that car in fourth, that is Jeff Altenberg, the 2007 Touring Car Champion in the HBA Ren Group VW. That's really pushing it hard too as well. Look at Lamb there, really <laughs> squirming around there, looking for grip. Tide just coming up to temperature, there you can see it. We had some great onboard shots in this one, and look at this move down to the inside. Those cars so squeezed, but as you can see, Altenberg wasted no time, made his move, and then Fred Emick, all by himself in the Emick VW machine, had a bit of an off, and his day was done, parked. Yeah, over in the turn three area, that's a shame, but what a great move by Todd Lamb. He hung tough around the outside. Now he's in second spot for this restart. Cooper led them away, but you can see right away Lamb has to go defensive. Why? Because Winchester's coming on, but so did Altenberg, who just picks up a spot, then another spot, and take a look at that black Civic right there in the fifth spot. That's the MS Produce Ultimate Racing entry of Gary Kwok, a Canadian touring car gun, having a very, very good run in his first start of 2012. And I'll tell you what, circuit knowledge is big wherever you go, but never more so than around this daunting place here in Canada. Unbelievable track. And also, you watch that blue and white Compass 360 car. That's the true car entry of Shea Holbrook, who got some serious testing time in here and said she really feels comfortable now in that car around this track. And in B-Spec, Andre Rapone in the Honda Fit from Durabond Racing finds himself motoring away from pole in the early going, followed by Craig Capaldi, who came in third in the points in the Capaldi Racing Ford Fiesta. Meanwhile, Back up in the touring car division, Altenberg, another spot made, Cal. Yeah, he's on a charge here. His car is hooked up. The VW now moves up to second. So Mazda leads from VW and then Honda. And a slew of Hondas at that. Compass 360 well represented. You can see Rapone. They're still leading in the B-Spec category at this point in the race. And here we go. Gary Kwok started to mount a serious charge working the outside line. Yeah, but he's not ready for the lamb chop. Watch this. Todd Lamb stuffs it down to the inside. And by doing so, he opens up the door for his teammate, Ryan Winchester. So there's a trade of positions right there. Kwok actually dropping a spot, but look at the run up front that Altenberg got on Cooper. This was going to be a big move. White flag flies, and Altenberg says, time to go. He dives down the inside, down into turn one. Now he's got to hang on for just one more lap. And he did that very comfortably, able to get out of the final turn and take the checkered flag with Cooper in second. That's good for Cooper in terms of the points. Lamb ending up right in the mix as well. Those two continue their battle for the points lead. And in the B spec touring car B, it was Andre Rapone from pole to the win. A great job in his debut in the Pirelli World Challenge and certainly in the B spec, B -Spec class championship. So nice job by Rapone in the Durabon Honda Fit. Time for highlights for the second of the triple header in the touring car and TCB category presented by Kia. After a 15-minute break, the second race unfolded, and Cal, they were allowed to change one tire if they wanted. Most of these guys, Greg, went with a change of the left front. That's the heavily loaded tire here. Altenberg on the back of his win yesterday gets the pole for the start of this one and immediately jumps to the front. Yeah, with Cooper, he slotted into second, Lamb into third. Again, this grid established by finishing order in the first race. And you can see Winchester running wide, and it got interesting early here. Look at Cooper diving through some of that oil dry and makes the move on Altenberg with a little hip check right there. It is Canada after all, so hockey. Absolutely, a very aggressive move. Then Jeff tries to tuck it to the inside, and I don't know whether there was damage when he got touched there by Cooper, but either way, he loses control. Winchester goes for a ride all the way to the top barriers Todd Lamb hangs on possible damage to the Civic after the cleanup we go back to green and it was Cooper leading away with Gary Kwok sitting in second and brother Tom Kwok jumping into third in that orange Honda Civic the two Durabond entries running very strongly and Shea Holbrook up into the fourth spot in her true car entry and in touring car B we hop on board with PJ Grokey in the Mini Cooper as he dives through and makes the pass on the Mazda 2 of Peter Schwartzot. That is a very hairy corner to make that move down inside of turn two but the battle continues here this is Quag versus Holbrook the battle for third she is having a tremendous run and really seems to gain confidence week to week right now in this touring car category. Meanwhile the battle for the front overall and in touring car it is Cooper and Quack. Cooper and the Mazda. Quack down to the inside and the, Ma and the Civic not quite able to get through. But these guys were far from done in this one. 
Yeah, he feigns a move right there. But meanwhile, up front in the TCB, Andre Rapone continues to march. He has been dominant here this weekend. Yeah, nobody able to touch him. Almost half a straightaway lead already here on this Mosport pit straight as he dives down into turn one in the Honda Fit. Drawing away. Meanwhile, here we go. This is what I was talking about. This battle continues. Look at the pass, but see the yellow flag flying in the background? That is against the rules, and Kwok completes it, doesn't give it up. And right away, the call came. If you want to continue racing, you have to give that spot back. And he did so on the Andretti straightaway. Yeah, he got the radio call, but watch this. As soon as Cooper is by, he immediately tucks in, so they're not going to come into that high-speed section. Remember, a couple of laps ago, he fainted a move down there to the inside of turn nine. He tries it again here, but look what happens. Makes the move, and Tink. There's the contact, Cooper sent sideways. Quack continues, Cooper into that wet. It wets up the tires just a little bit. He was gonna have to push hard. Meanwhile, TCB, all Rapone. Yeah, he continues to just streak away from this field. Just the car is hooked up. He knows this racetrack well and continues to deliver. But meanwhile, look at this. Michael Cooper has not given up this battle. He has caught Quack, and now they go side by side down that back straight away again. So the battle for the win is still alive. Yeah, Cooper was not to be denied on that run, gets to the front. Now watch this now, they head down. That is Jim McKenzie in the Honda Fit up front, a local journalist, and Cooper almost gets caught out, gets around, but carries too much speed into three cal. He does, he runs a little bit wide, the front end washes out on him, and Quark is through, that Civic is really hooked up there through turn three, and Cooper starts to fade a little bit. And as he faded, Holbrook coming on strong. She is all over the back right now of Cooper at this stage of the race, applying huge pressure. Quack, meanwhile, out of the last turn, checkered flag flies, and at this point gets his first ever win in Pirelli World Challenge competition as he is, starts off on the cool down lap, but the battle behind them was an intense one. Shea Holbrook almost getting by Cooper, can't quite do it. She can't, but Cooper gets great points. But look at this, Shea Holbrook is really pumped up after another brilliant performance. She continues to go from strength to strength. And in the Touring Car B-Spec category, Rapone has to follow a wounded Steve Blethen across the line, but he gets his second win from his second pole. Blethen, an IT racer from New Hampshire, came up to give this one a go. He races IT in SCCA competition, but nonetheless, uh, just a great run again by Andre Rapone in the Honda Fit. But once they all got into victory circle, then they go through tech. Gary Kwok found to be a little light in post-race tech and lost the win, giving it to Cooper. Highlights of the third and final of the triple header for Touring Cars and TCB. And let's take a look at our Motul Pole Award. This was a qualifying session that established this, and Andre Rapone continuing to dominate in the Touring Car B-Spec category. Michael Cooper putting his Mazda on pole in Touring Car. And this one is now a standing start, standard setup. And look at that. Shea Holbrook qualified second in this one. And at the start, Cooper getting a great launch. And Ryan Winchester, who had that off in the second round of the championship, the team building the car back up, and Winchester a great launch, Cal. It really was. It was a great launch by him. But Shea Holbrook hangs in there as now the Compass 360 machine's running two, three, and four. But watch this. Down into turn two. Cole Tires just loses the rear end. Narrowly missed by her teammates. She would continue. Shea said afterwards, I saw my teammates coming at me and thought, oh no, and then they all avoided. Now with that, you can see the gap up front, but look at this battle, the Quack brothers, Tom and Gary, the orange and black machines going at it in this battle right now, and it is Gary Quack that's able to get through. Meanwhile, let's take a look at our Optima Battery's best standing start. Joel Lipperini, big story here, showed up overnight, surprise entry in Turing Car B-Spec, dead last and moved up three spots in the opening lap. We'll tell you a little bit more about his story in just a minute. Meanwhile, back in the touring car division, this battle was still a solid one as Winchester now working over Tom Quack. Yeah, he goes around the outside along the long back straightaway, up the Andretti straightaway into turn eight. He makes the move, looking really strong right now. Winchester coming back through the field. And in B-Spec, it is Rapone once again, just in that Durabon Honda Fit, just stretching that margin out, putting together a very, very strong run at this stage. But there's Joe Lipperini. He'd been running his car. They finished the cars. We hop on board with him. On Wednesday night, he went and ran an SCCA club event at Lime Rock Park, heard about the race up here with the B-Spec, drove all night, 
never qualified and showed up and put on a stunning run, getting around Jonathan Start in the Fiat here. Yeah, the Fitz now run one, two, but meanwhile up front, look at this, Gary Kwok dives to the inside, gets a little touch there by Lamb coming off of the corner. That allows his teammate to get a run on him. So Winchester now up to third. Remember, these guys were involved in that first lap shenanigans with their teammate Shea Holbrook, but have recovered nicely. And Shea Holbrook mounting a charge as well. You'll see her in just a little bit. Meanwhile, there's Cooper leading and opening it up a little bit over Gary Kwok. And here we go. Winchester once again, Cal, coming after him. Yeah, he fires it to the outside. There looks like the Compass 360 machine is a little bit stronger down the back straight away. But Kwok is hanging in there. He's got a car that is hooked up and he knows the track well. Meanwhile, Cooper in again, TCB traffic. Now that's Capaldi in the Ford Fiesta. Box Cooper just a little bit. Watch what happens here. Winchester dives to the inside. Cooper had once again, and Quok slides through as well. Yeah, Cooper, there's not a lot of grip there on the outside of turn three. You can see the ground that he immediately loses. Then a problem for Todd Lamb, loses the left rear. This is disappointment for him because he, he's big time in the points right now. Yeah, huge points implications. Fortunately, it's front wheel drive. He's able to just stay on it and limp it around into the pit lane. Dare I say he's lost a leg of Lamb? <laughs> uh, you just did. <laughs> Andre Rapone continuing to dominate in the B-spec category. Uh, Three poles and on his way to a third win. Meanwhile, Winchester and Quack, the battle rejoined, and Quack, he owns the entry to turn one, dives down to the inside, makes it stick. His car is just really hooked up. He's doing a brilliant job as well, but look at this battle for third. This is heating up. Shea Holbrook looking for her second podium here this weekend. She has mounted a huge comeback. Remember that opening lap spin in turn two, and watch this move. I don't think Cooper quite realized that she had that kind of a head of steam, and she just kept it planted, dove down to the inside, and now he just tries to tuck in and get a bit of a toe. That puts Holbrook comeback drive in that true car Honda up into third. Meanwhile, Quack final turn. Gary Quack onto the front straight, takes the win. This one will stick. It's legit. He has a Pirelli World Challenge touring car win for that team. Great way to rebound after the disappointment of yesterday and the DQ. And, of course, in TCB, well, it's the perfect fit. It's three for three for Andre Rapone. Just a great run for him. He has dominated throughout on this one, and it's great to have him in the championship to be sure. There's the celebration. We come back, our feature race, GT GTS Race 2.